Welcome to the Lynx 3.0 tutorial series. I'm Sam Kristoff from LabVIEW Maker Hub, and in this series, I'll show you how to write LabVIEW applications and deploy them to run on a BeagleBone Black or Raspberry Pi. Let's have a look at what we're getting into. Here you can see I have a LabVIEW project. In my project, I have my computer, a BeagleBone Black, and a Raspberry Pi 3. I have one VI that's currently under my computer. It's called Blink, and if I open it, You'll see this is the standard Lynx Blink example. I have COM6 selected, which is my Arduino Leonardo, and the digital output channel is set to 13. If I run the VI, LabVIEW will connect to the Arduino Leonardo, and once it does, I can click the LED to toggle the Leonardo's user LED on and off. Now, in Lynx 3.0, I can take this same VI and move it under the BeagleBone Black. Now, when I run this VI, it'll run on the BeagleBone Black. But right now it's set for serial, and I need to set it to use local I.O. So in the block diagram, I'll change the links open to local I.O. and get rid of the COM port. That's all I have to do. I'll change the digital output pin to 7, since 13 isn't on the BeagleBone Black, and now I'll run the VI. LabVIEW builds and deploys the VI to the BeagleBone Black, but still sends updates to my front panel, so I can still control the LED on the BeagleBone Black. I can take the same VI, stop it, and move it under the Raspberry Pi 3. Now when I open it up, I'll change the digital output to 7, and we can see it's still set to local I.O. So all I have to do is click Run. And now my VI is running on the Raspberry Pi 3. I can toggle the LED to control the, the Raspberry Pi's LED. In this tutorial series, we'll learn how to write VIs using the Lynx API to control the I.O. on the BeagleBone Black and the Raspberry Pi. We'll also learn how to build these VIs and deploy them to run on the BeagleBone Black or Raspberry Pi headlessly, so they'll run whenever we power up the device without a connection back to LabVIEW on the PC. We even have the option to mix and match local and remote Lynx I.O. So I could have my BeagleBone Black talk to a chipkit WF32 over Wi-Fi using the same Lynx API. Keep watching the rest of the Lynx 3.0 tutorial series to learn how to get started. Make sure to check out labviewmakerhub.com for more tutorials and projects, and ask any questions you have on the MakerHub forums at labviewmakerhub.com forums.